This is a set of charts that was used for in-class teaching of deaf boys by the Christian brothers, as well as deaf teachers. Each time the charts were used, the teacher or brother would hang a different chart on the hook at the front of this case and then use them to teach the boys. They were used to teach reading skills in English class. Both writing and sign language were used to teach these classes. You see the picture here? It's a picture of a sign. Now at the time the oral method wasn't used in St. Joseph's, the sign pictured means between. Each picture in the same row as the sign was used to teach the meaning of the word. So in the first picture we see three people. The sentence then is, the boy is between his mother and father. In the next picture, the little girl is between the trees. The next picture down shows the sign for among. And you can see the pictures depicting these sentences. The Christian brother is among the boys. The next one says, the shepherd is among the sheep. The third one down is the sign for around. And then we see a picture of boys gathered round. The boys are around the desk. Then a lovely picture of a garden with hedges all around it. There is a nice walk around the garden. Fruit trees are growing along the walls. The walls are around the garden. Walls protect gardens. The intricate artwork in these charts was devised as a creative and innovative way to teach these words in class. The charts were employed as a class teaching tool for children aged four up to maybe 16 or 17. These glass display cases were used to hold, display and protect the valuable canvas charts from damage from moths. Unfortunately, we have only 80 of these charts remaining in our storeroom. Other charts display the various trades the deaf boys learned at St. Joseph's, like tailoring and cobbling, but those charts are missing. These charts are a very valuable teaching resource. Not only were they used in class here, but also brought by Christian brothers on mission work traveling abroad. Some were brought to Australia, South Africa, as well as some given to Gallaudet University. Some were donated to other deaf schools, which makes our collection here smaller. For example, St. Gabriel's Deaf School in Australia features one in a picture in its 100th anniversary book. You can see one of these very same pictorial charts in the background of a classroom. The missing charts such as this depict very different scenes to the charts we keep here. They're fascinating. Thomas Mann, who painted this artwork, was a clever, innovative and artistic teacher. He worked long into the night in a room underground here in St. Joseph's, creating these educational resources, then taught deaf boys using them during the day. He was an English and maths teacher, as well as religion, and a gifted all-round educator.